Okay, here are some exercises, problems on finding, calculating growth of cell division. And what we have is a formula where A, our final amount, is equal to our initial amount times the base of an exponent, which we call B, to the power of N, N being the number of time periods. So with problem one, we have a laboratory technician starts a cell culture. By the way, if you can just try to work out the problems first and then follow along to see if you didn't write, I'm going to do all the odd number problems and probably one even number problem as well in this set of nine problems. Okay, so the technician starts a cell culture with 30 cells. If the number of cells doubles every three hours, what will be the cell population 24 hours after the beginning of the growth? And so in this case, we have A, which we do not know. Our final amount is equal to our initial amount. We have 30 cells at the beginning times our base of our exponent. Well, what we have for our base of our exponent is doubles. So that's a key word that signifies that 2 is our base of the exponent. And now we have to find out how many periods that these cells doubled. And to do that, we have 24 hours, a full day, and every three hours. And so if we take that 24, divide it by 3, we get 8. So we have 2 to the power of 8 times 30. Well, I think that's 2 to the power of 8. I think that's 256. So anyway, we go to our calculator. We have 30 times 2 to the 8th power and we get 7,680 cells. So 7,680 cells. So that's our answer to problem one. Now on to our next other problem, which is three. A bacterial culture triples every six hours. If there is a starting amount of 50 bacteria, how many bacteria will there be exactly two days later? Well, much the same as problem one, we have A, the amount, that our final amount is equal to our initial amount, which is 50 bacteria, times we have our base, and our base is the key word here is triples, so that's 3 to the power of n. And to find n, well, we have uh, two days. And two days is how many hours? Well, that's 48 hours. And to find the period, we take that 48 hours, and we have, let's see, every six hours. So we divide the 48 by 6, and we get 8. So we're going to get... 50 times 3 to the 8th power. And so we go back to our calculator. 50 times 3 to the power of 8. And we get 328,050. So we go back here. 328,050. 050. <laughs> Okay, so that's going to be bacteria. I'm going to abbreviate bacteria slightly. Not too hard, is it? Next, let's go to the next other problem, which is five. A bacteria culture deprived of nutrients goes into remission by halving every day. If there is a starting amount of 1,024 of these bacteria, how many bacteria will there be five days later? Well, in this case, what we have is the same format. We have A, which we do not yet know, is equal to our starting amount, which is 1,024 times our base. Now, this is the tricky thing, by having. The title of this video lesson is Cell Growth. But having is going to be times 1 half, or we can decimalize that as 0.5. And we have five days later. Uh, let's see, having every day and five days later, 
that would be five total periods. So we have 1,024 times one half to the fifth power. So we have 1,024 times one half or 0.5 to the fifth power. And so we get 32 bacteria. So we go back exercise equal 32 bacteria and that will be our answer again uh, not growth as a matter of technicality and so we'll say negative growth that is our answer 32 bacteria next on our problem uh, a lethal spore doubles in population every two hours if there's a starting amount of 10 spores how many will there B, uh, 36 hours later. Okay, let's put by, says B, okay. Same thing, we have A, which we do not know, is equal to our starting amount, which is 10. And then we have doubles, so that's going to be 2. And we have every 2 hours, uh, 36 hours later, every 2 hours, so you have to take that 36 hours and divide that by 2 to get the total number of time periods, which is 18. So we get 10 times 2 to the 18th power. It's probably going to be a lot. So we go to our calculator and put in 10 times 2 to the power of 18. And we get 2,620,000. 1,440. And that's going to be uh, spores. Okay, if that's, these spores are lethal, that could be a big health problem. Next, I said I'm going to do one of the even number problems, eight. Here we have a, a problem, and I want to do this one because it's, it's really, the format is, is quite different from the ones we've looked at so far. A certain strain of bacteria is counted at about 1.18 million. So in this case, we are given our final amount, which is going to be 1.18 million. And I think that's the proper number of zeros, isn't it? 1,180,000. That's right. And equals A sub zero, which we do not know, times what are we looking at here? Our base of our exponent is going to be 3 because of this word here, triple. And, and let's see, it's written as populations every day. We have every day and 10 days ago. So that's going to be what is it? That's going to be the power of 10. So how do we solve for a sub 0? Divide by 3 to the power of 10. So we say a sub 0 is equal to 100 and 1 million 180,000 divided by 3 to the power of 10. So let's go ahead and a sub 0 Okay, so 1,180,000, okay, is that the right number of zeros? I think it finally is, divided by 3 to the power of 10, and we get this improper fraction, and I'm going to press control enter to decimalize, we get about 19.98 spores. So we put down 19.98, which is approximately equal to 20 spores. If we had to say how many there were earlier, we'd say 20 spores. So we will leave that in place. So I'm going to do a little bit of Algebra on that one. Okay, our last problem this set. 
Problem nine, a fruit fly population grows by half every week. A starting population of two fruit flies will grow to how many a year or 52 weeks later? And so for this one, we want to have A is equal to A sub zero, which is two times, now here's the tricky part, grows by half, grows by half. Well, grows by half would be growing by 50% from the original. So our base here would be 1.5. That's growing by half. And that's the power of 52, or 52 weeks in a year. So just working it out in the calculator now, we have two times 1.5 to the power of 52. And for that, we get two point, let's say we get 2.869 uh, times 10 to the power of nine. So that's gonna be billion. So the 10 to the ninth power is billion. So we're gonna just call this 2.8 eight six nine billion so two point eight six nine billion of course these astronomical numbers are really contingent on uh, no limitation for for uh, food supplies and other things like that so Anyway, cell growth and other related problems. I hope this has been helpful to you. Good luck in working the remaining exercises, and I thank you for viewing.